<laughs> oh, guys, today is a great day. Not only am I feeling better from having the Rona, by the way, thank you to everybody who commented on my last video hoping I'd get well. I am feeling much better and at the perfect time too because the mid-season update is finally here. There's something to finally talk about. Am I going to talk about it? Hell no! Because something incredible happened with Sledgehammer. You know, Call of Duty's had this very, very big problem over the last couple of years. Not only have the games sucked, let's be completely honest, the last three games haven't been the best. This game in particular, Vanguard, it sucks, alright? Let's be honest. But that's not even the biggest problem. The biggest problem, in my opinion, people just don't admit that the game sucks. The most important people, the devs, the people who created this shit, a lot of them will never admit that the game sucks. But you know what they say guys, admitting is the first step and that is exactly what Sledgehammer did finally. But before I get into it, what is going on guys? It's the boy Fooly and I'm bringing you guys another video right here on Call of Duty Vanguard. And today we got some very great things to talk about when it comes to Sledgehammer. This is going to be another one of those classic videos. I feel great. I'm going to roast the ever living dog shit out of Sledgehammer and Vanguard and it's going to be a great time. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. Thanks again for the get well wishes and very quick Thank you guys tremendously for 3,000 subscribers. That's absolutely insane. Let's keep that train rolling and uh, let's get right into it. So, Sledgehammer, after their second vacation since the launch of this title back in November, they've finally taken some action towards fixing this game because God knows it needs to be fixed. And I could sit here for 10 to 15 minutes just talking about every single thing that they're working on. But do I really care about that? No. Why? Because for the longest time, this game has just been a thorn in my side. It's been complete cock and ball torture just playing this game. And finally, Sledgehammer is not only working on fixing the cock and ball torture that is this game, but they've actually admitted that the game sucks. I, I can't believe it. They came out with the patch notes for this last update. And I'm not going to read through the entire thing, I am going to read through this one paragraph though. And it's probably the most impactful thing that they've ever said as devs, to be completely honest. Well, Sledgehammer goes ahead and says, We've heard your feedback on the issues you've been facing since Vanguard's launch, and we want you to know that we are committed to improving the state of Vanguard multiplayer. Bluntly speaking, not every fix in today's update will be a perfect fix. No shit. Some issues, especially with spawns and packet burst, might take us some time to thoroughly address, but we want you to know that we hear you. We're working on those things and more, and you can expect more updates coming to Vanguard before Season 2. Now, very quickly, I want to repeat one part in here. We've heard your feedback on the issues you've been facing since Vanguard's launch. Pause. To every Call of Duty gooch licker, to everybody who likes to stick their nose up a Bobby Cosby's ass and take a big ass whiff, to everybody who likes to drink the gooch sweat and dumpster juice out of Activision's headquarters dumpster, please read that back to yourself. We've heard your feedback on the issues you've been facing since Vanguard's launch. Just as a quick note, Today is January 11th, you guys are seeing this on the 12th. The game came out on like the 5th or 6th of November, and there's issues that we've been facing since the launch of the game. Yet how many people out here are trying to roast everybody who's been complaining about these issues since the launch of the game? For example, Packet Burst. I've been talking about Packet Burst since I first found out about it in the first week of the game, and finally, they're actually doing something to fix it. I don't know how any COD fanboy could read that and say, hmm, yeah, the game's been good this entire time, you guys are all just whining. If we've been whining and complaining this entire time, and nothing that we're saying holds weight, then why are they addressing this? Why is that? Oh yeah, it's because the game fucking sucks balls! And as a matter of fact, they even take it a step further, saying that they know that today's update is probably not going to fix everything that they're trying to fix. Not only are they admitting that the game blows cock, they're admitting they're probably too incompetent to actually fix what they're saying they're going to fix, and lo and behold, take a look at this! We are aware that some players are still not seeing the STG challenges tracking after the latest update. A fix has been deployed in the back end, blah blah blah, restart the game, you're good. There we go, they put out the update, the shit didn't work for some people, and now they're working again. 
good. We are investigating dev error 6036 in which some players are crashing out of or are unable to access multiplayer. By the way guys, I shit you not, as I'm recording this video, I'm actually looking at Twitter. Good god almighty, are we even surprised? The update's crashing people's goddamn games. These devs literally can't do anything right. At least they admitted in the blog post that it's probably not gonna be as smooth as you think. Again, it all ties back to admitting is the first step, right? If we actually want Vanguard to be a great game in the future, let's first admit that right now, the game sucks. Let's admit right now, that every update that they're making is fucking the game up even more. Like I've said it before, everything they touch dies. A lot of people, myself included, whether they're content creators with over 100,000 subs or really small channels like myself, like The Dynamite, like Invader, like some of us smaller folks with a couple thousand subscribers. We've been saying this shit from the goddamn start. The game had and still has issues and all we wanted was for this crap to be fixed and for Sledgehammer to admit that this game blows. So to everybody out there who's been saying, oh, you're just complaining for views, you're just crying for views, I'm reporting you for bullying the devs. Look, your daddies literally just said, we're aware of all of these issues that have been here since the launch of the game. Over two months, that majority of these bugs haven't even been talked about. Packet Burst has been an issue since the beginning of November when this game first launched. Two months later, there's finally gonna be a fix or at least some progress towards fixing it. That's literally all we ever wanted. We wouldn't crap all over this game if the game were good. It just so happens the game's not good, so we're gonna crap on it. And again, I've said this once before, but you are welcome to every Call of Duty fan out there, whether you despise the game or whether you gooch lick the game. The issues and problems that you've been having in this game, some of them are going to be resolved because of content creators just bitching and moaning and complaining and crying about the game. Now the devs are finally aware that, yeah, the game sucks, let's actually try to fix it, let's listen to the people who are complaining with actual complaints. Nobody's out here complaining about, oh, shoot first, die first, there's too many campers. Those are just gameplay designs. They made the game campy. They made it so that the time to kill is this fast. That was all their choice. A lot of these bugs that we've been talking about, the aim assist, the packet burst, how many times you get stuck against the walls, a lot of that is being addressed and Sledgehammer is admitting that it's been a problem since launch. If the game were actually this incredible great title, the savior of the franchise that some of you gooch lickers think that it is, would there be this many bugs since launch and would Sledgehammer openly say that there's been issues since the launch of the game? If the game were actually that good, none of this would be happening. Now, of course, there's a lot more to this update than what I just said. There's obviously new content coming out. I think there's a new gun coming out. There's new bundles in the shop, unfortunately. Again, if you don't like the game and you're still playing it, don't buy any bundles. The Attack on Titan bundle has been confirmed. Uh, I'm gonna be roasting the ever-living dog shit out of that bundle too. I'll start working on that video pretty soon. But again, guys, today is a very important day in Call of Duty history, especially in Vanguard history, because it's not very often that the devs will come out and say, yeah, we fucked up. Even though they're not directly saying it, you can tell what they mean. You can tell they've heard all of these people smoking the game because the game deserves to be smoked. Even if you're having fun with it, there's a lot of game breaking issues and bugs in this game, and they're finally, finally, finally addressing it. And Sledgehammer, a quick message to you. Don't let your foot off the gas. I say this every single time any of these devs do anything right. Just keep it going. Keep the momentum going. Keep fixing things. You're finally back at work, you deadbeat morons. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all this. Maybe a slight round of applause for Sledgehammer. Maybe kind of doing something right, sorta. Although we know that the game still sucks, but at least they admitted it. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. Thank you again for over 3K subscribers. Let's keep that going. And uh, yeah, guys, until next time, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodaloo. It's been a very long time since the weekend. It's been a very long time and I'm weak. It's been a very long time.